Review on actuator replacement and calibration on a 2014 Dodge Ram 3500 with a ASIN transmission. So first thing you do is you re remove the wheel. Then there's a bug guard, a rock guard that goes around the wheel well. And the actuator is right by the turbo, right on the turbo, right there. There's a plug for it. Take a bolt off holding the wire there. Then there's four screws, two on top and two at the bottom. Remove those and that comes off. Once you remove the four screws and attempt to take it off, you will get the coolant. If you wanna drain that first, that's good. You can uh, unplug it, push that down, pop that off. There's a screw holding down here. Unscrew that. And the whole thing comes off. I drained the fluid prior to the removal. And that's to removing the actuator, you'll want to take Scotch Brite and clean around all the all this rust and any debris that's left from it. So do a good job. Spend about five minutes cleaning it. Make sure it's all uh, cleaned out because you'll be applying a uh, new gasket and you don't want any debris in the way. After cleaning the actuator area here, you want to take this control arm, the positioning arm, and you want to move it from mark to mark and make sure it moves freely. You'll notice there's a hole when you have it actuated all the way here that you can stick through and it goes to the manifold itself, to the actual housing there. So you'll have tension on it. It doesn't move very easily, but uh, you should be able to do it with a little bit of tension. After removing the actuator off the turbo, you'll want to clean this area also, and you will have to replace the gaskets. Uh, you can't reuse them at all. After installing the new gaskets and cleaning around, where they're going to be connecting to the throttle. After putting on the new gaskets on the actuator, you'll want to, after cleaning it, you'll want to put it on and connect it to the actual actuator and leave it off. And then you're ready for calibration. So now the actuator is hooked up and we are ready for calibration. We'll leave it unhooked and we're gonna hook up with a snap-on OBDD uh, computer scanner. After hooking up to the computer, this is the steps you'll be taking to calibrate the actuator. You wanna turn on the key. So you've connected. Now you'll go to system tests. You'll go to BGT turbo. And you'll hit continue. At this point, you have to go to the actuator and put it onto the turbo, and uh, we're going there. Okay, so we have our actuator ready to go. We got it all cleaned up for your debris, and we want to set our actuator arm to the left position so the see-through hole right here will be positioned just like that. You don't see it there. Go all the way over 
and that's you're ready to put it on and calibrate. You want to wiggle a little bit to align the teeth to go into the alignment gear. After installing the actuator, getting it uh, slightly tight on the four nuts, top and bottom, we're going to go and actually calibrate. So now we're back here and ready to calibrate. Continue. You'll hear a noise, the control arm, positioning arm, going back and forth, getting the coordinates. Complete. That's it. This is a recap on what we're gonna, what we did. So first we took the actuator off. We cleaned it and uh, installed new gaskets, left it open, pre-calibrated the position sensor, the position arm, then we installed it and did a finalized calibration to pair with the turbo. So after that's all done, you're good to go.